Hey everyone, um, again, Jordan, Taylor, Raphael, and uh, we're Living Ember Ministries, and this is our first video discussion, and uh, this week we're going over basically the foundations of faith, figuring out you know what faith is to us, what faith looks like in the Bible, um, and just kind of talking about different topics and such. Yeah. So. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Wow, that was funny. No, I was just saying it's just it's it's cool that we're starting this because it's so core to not just Christian walk and not even just what we're doing, but to life. Like it's mm -hmm. more core than people realize. Mm -hmm. The idea that I like to say it like this: America is pretty spiritually dumb right now, mm -hmm. and so it's cool that we're gonna start with something that like most people are like they're aware of it, but they don't really know much about what does it mean to like not just be spiritual but to have faith yeah it seems like it's the the first step that everyone takes and knows nothing about yeah hmm. it's foundations for everything how we view things how we trust everything true so it's good that you bring that up too yeah yeah um so i'll try not to get too philosophical by the way only because honestly please do <laughs> well i mean because even what you just said how like we're very trusting i mean it's the idea that you trust that you experience things. You know, you trust that what you see here is reality, and you're, you're mm -hmm. trusting that um, the things that you're going through are actually things that you're going through, and they're not just fake. They're not just you know when things happen to you, you don't just shrug it off as oh well, it's just a it's just a thing that my sensories are taking it. No, you go, dude, why'd you just punch me in the face? You know, I mean, it's 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 actually happening and it's real. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you know that out of some hidden trust that's within yourself. Like you're trusting that that's, that's real. You're trusting that the reality that's around us is, is actually here. And so that's, that's honestly, for me, that's like the very, very, very beginning of faith because it shows that every single human being has faith. Mm -hmm. You know, it shows that everybody believes something. You believe a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you trust that when you get in the car, you're not going to die. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, shoot, it's more dangerous than being on a roller coaster. The more people are willing to trust cars and roller coasters. That's true. You know? That's true. Yeah. So you bring up, you know, trust and everything. Do you, out of curiosity, because I was thinking about this the other day, and before I kind of go into it, I was curious what your thoughts were, both of you. Do you think faith and trust is the same thing? Mm. I'm going to say yes and no. Mm. The faith, faith is a certain amount of trust. Just because you are, you are believing that something or someone isn't going to hurt you. On the other hand, faith is also its loyalty. Mm. Um, there, there's different levels to faith, and, and yeah. I think, I think being able to trust is just a, a first step. Mm. Yeah, like eventually then getting to faith, kind of a thing. Definitely, because because to trust someone and then to trust someone to the point that you have faith in them, because mm. mm. I, yeah. I trust you guys. Yeah. But to have faith in someone is is the next step past trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is is un unquestioned trust. It's mm -hmm. I have faith, even though you have shown me absolutely nothing in this specific area, or it's you've never been there physically. Right. There's there's different aspects to it that can't be encompassed in just the word trust. Right, mm -hmm. like faith is a journey. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's not just. The simple concept of I can rely on you, but it's uh, you've been faithful, you you are with me now, and you're faithful to me now, mm -hmm. or or it, this is faithful, whatever it is, and I'm because of all of that, I am trusting and faithfully knowing mm -hmm. that it's going to be faithful beyond this. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's this whole arc. It's not so I love how you put that. It's 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 yeah, it's trust, but it's also more than that because mm -hmm. it is. It's the walk, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was thinking about it the other day. Of To me, trust is very much your belief in something when you see it. Like, I trust you guys. Why? Because you guys have shown me, you know, your friendship. You show me that I can count on you guys. You show me that, you know, we have a good time together. We laugh. You know, we're good friends. Like, we trust each other in that aspect. And then faith is very much trusting without seeing it. And I feel like... When you reach the point where you have faith in something, you reach the point to where 
um, you truly believe and are faithful and you, and you know in your heart without having to see it, I think that's when it verges into the faith aspect. It's very much trust without sight. And like, I may be wrong as far as definition for that, but that's how I kind of view it. And I feel like it's how a lot of people view it. Yeah. And I know like, so a lot of people will also jump to the scripture, Hebrews 11, 1, um, which is funny, I got a Bible here, but it was easier to find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes. I don't even think about Welcome it. Welcome to the 21st century. I have like, a nice Bible here, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. So that's why it's like, it's both the journey of trust, but at the same time, it's also the choice of, you know what, technically, I don't know, so mm -hmm. I'm choosing that trust. It's it's mm -hmm. it's like almost towards what we call blind faith, yeah. you know, because like, it's not all blind faith, but at the same time, you technically don't know. Right. And a lot of people think that, you know, oh, if you know, then you can have faith, but but that's actually not. Really I mean, faith to a degree will always be blind faith because you're almost stepping out you know, yep. in complete darkness and not have any clue what's going on. And that's where faith comes in. Yeah. You know, trust is definitely more, there's more backing to it, I feel. I feel like there's more, um, there's more support in your, why you believe this is a thing. Or, you know, if I trust that we're not getting in a car accident, it's because of the fact that, okay, this has good ratings, you know, mm -hmm. this model year, mm -hmm. everything. You know, I know your driving record when you're driving. Like, I know, you know, our history with accents, etc. Like, I have more trust that we'll be fine because of past experiences. Versus faith is a going in a completely new highway, going on a whole new road. I have no clue what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I have faith that it's going to, we're going to be okay. Kind of thing. That's actually kind of interesting because when you, you, you look at faith specifically, if you look from outside the, the aspect of religion in on someone who has religion, and you see someone have faith, and you wonder how they're able to do those things, where they just give things over, mm -hmm. like financially, physically, whatever it is. To other people, it does look like they are stepping off of a ledge with no land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But when you trust someone, it's because you know what they have done for you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's a continuation of constant belief. Yeah. But yeah. with faith, it's not only that belief, but the fact of it, it, it doesn't, it's not stepping out of a ledge. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that you know. You know who they are. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Because once you know them, then you, you understand, yeah, I technically don't know what they're going to do tomorrow, but at the same time, they are trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's not because of what they've done, it's because of how you understand who they are. Mm -hmm. Right. That they are someone who can be trusted. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. That's a very good point, actually. Cool. That's good stuff. Yeah. Um. So I definitely want. What? Sorry, I was I was just <laughs> eating it up. I was just eating it up. <laughs> he did it as I looked away. I was like, <laughs> like, I'll hear what. That was all <laughs> 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 Um. God, that's a whole nother tangent that we were going to avoid going on because that's, nope. that's 15 minutes just <laughs> right oh, down gosh. the street. <laughs> <laughs> so we do stupid as kind of. Um, you wrote a lot of really good things in Evernote. Uh, I read some, yeah. You wrote a lot. Of really I want to hear. I didn't get to read. That's right. You haven't heard this yet. This no, all no. really jumbled. Um, it's fine. <laughs> We'll get through. Uh, I guess well, you put it in sections, so it's very easy just to kind of... They're separated. I need to reorganize. But um, to go into the first part of it is, is faith itself has a basis of balance. There, There's different aspects to life, and that's why we came up with the, the fire aspect here, at least continued on with the fire aspect. So I guess to start off with, what is faith to you guys? Hmm. Um, you want to go first for that one? You know, I really thought you were about to go first, and you're like, hmm, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to put you on the spot. It's okay. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I mean, faith to me is something that, going through my life and looking through the events, um, I really do, I mean, even going back to what we were saying about, you know, trust being first step to faith, trust being that, that lead in to that, you know, going having flashbacks of memories to when I was a kid teenager you know young adult etc that seeing 
putting faith in the scriptural religious standpoint, not just generalized faith. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing so much of what God has done in my life, you know, and the people he's put there, the people he's taken out, uh, different events that have transpired to where I know that God put had a had a hand in it in one way or another, whether it yeah. was for my well-being or for my benefit in a lesson or, you know, something to help me grow or, you know, change you, if I was needed to. And something that I've noticed with how my faith has grown is that when I was younger, I had unadulterated faith or trust. Mm. I trusted God with everything. I didn't question anything. I just trusted that he was going to do well. And I feel as I grew older, you know, through events in my life, my trust may have faltered from that. But as I grew stronger in God again, my trust turned into faith. Mm. I, I started seeing more in my life to where I can put my full faith in God and know everything's going to be okay, even if it's not at the moment. Yeah. But that trust changed from just childish, like, everything's going to be fine, to there is now reasons why I have faith. There are stories behind why I have faith. When you said, you know, that, because when you were just giving that little narrative, you said that the turning point was you grew stronger in God. You mean like, what do you mean by that? Like, I, I there was a point in my life to where my relationship was completely gone, squandered. It, it was, I was not feeding it. I was not, you know, praying. I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't, I wasn't yearning for him. I wasn't looking for him. I wasn't studying anything. I, I was completely... I'm just going to live life the way that I live life. Um, my life is going to take turns, and it's going to be because I want it to, and very selfish, selfish, you know, way of living. And granted, we only live for ourselves because we need to make sure that we're okay. Mm -hmm. But it's important to keep God centered because of the fact that he wants us to, flat out. Not, not mm -hmm. so many other reasons behind it other than the fact that God created us to worship him. God created us sure. to, you know, have fellowship with him and then, you know, and he spread knows the love. best for us. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So um, in my life, when I got to that point of my relationship with God was just not there, I started working at the church again. I started, you know, really, really just exposing myself to God, exposing myself to the potentials of what God had wanted for me or, you know. Uh, Christian people in my life, people that were, not that non-Christian people aren't good, but Christian people have a tendency to also support you with scripture and support sure. you with Christianity and, and help you through that. And that adds more. It's not just being a friend anymore. It's not becoming a, a, a spiritual rock to you, somebody you can rely on for many different aspects of your life. And uh, in turn of doing that, I got exposed more to, you know, various pastors in my life. I got exposed to, um, you know, different events and conferences, et cetera, et cetera. And I felt that that seed kind of grow again and, mm. and flourish. And from doing that and being interested in, okay, what does the Bible say about this? Okay, what does, you know, these different denominations believe? What, what like, wh where do they get it from? Okay, what does the Bible say about this? Blah, 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 blah. Like, there's a lot of different turning points in my walk that grew out of pure curiosity because mm. I was out, I was at a point in my life to where I was mature enough to start asking questions. That's really cool. And looking back, my faith grew because of the fact that I started acknowledging and seeing what God has done. It wasn't just trust. Mm. It wasn't just like every kid trusts their parents right off the bat. You, 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 you were born with the mentality of they're going to be there for you. You were born with the mentality of, they are the ones watching me. They're the ones feeding me. My feed, my food is coming every day because of them. I have clothes on my back. You know, I will be washed. I will be nurtured. That 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 is so just taken for granted, kind of a thing. But I feel, and this kind of even goes back to what I said earlier, like going back on what I said earlier of faith being blindless. But I feel like when you're a Christian. And, and you're really looking for God. There's so much evidence everywhere that it's it's you have to be blind to not see it, mm -hmm. kind of a deal. So there's more faith being instilled in me. Is that a word? Instilled. Uh, instilled. Instilled. Ha ha. Instilled though. Instilled. No, no, that's that's our word now. Yeah, there we go. Instilled. We instilled. Instilled. <laughs> Just All the ingredients of my life. <laughs> 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 um, 
everything in my life that it brought me to this point, I'm now aware of, wow, God, has, God had his hand in this. God had his hand in that. I now just can just rely fully. I can trust him. I have every ounce of faith in him because of the fact that I know that even if things look super grim, back then, I'm fine. Mm. So I guess in short, what faith means to me is to be able to, lack of a better term, to sit back and relax because I've already seen him do work before. That's awesome. Like I know it's going to happen. I already said a little bit, so I wanted to add a little bit more, which was um, something that, so like I grew up, you know, in the Christian, in the Christian home and in church and whatnot. So it was like, you know, have faith, have faith, have trust, have trust. Um, it was very much equated and whatnot. But um, something that also kind of got equated with faith as I was growing up was like, you know, obeying the commandments and like living by the rules of Christianity and whatnot. And uh, the, the Lord really helped me understand that there is a stark difference between obedience and faith. Mm. And you can be faithfully obedient, but being obedient does not necessarily make you faithful mm. or more faith-filled, I should say. Mm, that's fair. You know, like yeah. doing what God tells you to do is one thing. But doing something because you trust and because you know him, with or without it being an act of obedience, that's something completely different. Mm. Or it can be. Mm. And I had to like learn that because because that for me, that for me, that was a really big stepping stone in understanding, okay, it's not as simple as you just open up the book and see what does God tell you to do. You know, I, I grew mm. up hearing the phrase, the Bible is the manual for life. Mm. And in many ways that's true and in many ways it's not and i had to like really wrestle with that one mm -hmm. you know being a really christianized kid you know it's like I, I, that, that's that's just how that was my worldview and so i had to really like i had to really understand okay that's just that's just it's not that simple mm -hmm. it is more complex but it is still simple faith it is still simply trusting him mm -hmm. and it is a knowledge that it's a it's a type of knowledge that isn't just in your head and it isn't just in your heart, but it's like your whole being. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, to me, it's more of an extension of it. it's pure knowledge in itself. You know, you're not taking for granted anything. Mm -hmm. You're not following these these rules because you have to. You you follow these rules because you understand why there are rules in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, you understand. Okay, what was the mentality behind this? You you, you understand why the rule was made. So in turn, you you follow them because of. Your knowledge about it not so much because oh i have to mm. you know I, i've never put thought into it i'm just going to do it you know mm. whatever willy-nilly it, it's you're doing it because oh this is why this is what happens when i don't follow it this is what happens when i do follow it blah blah so like it, it makes you more of a conscientious person as well because yeah. you're now more educated in you're not just following blindly you're, you're literally following because you understand why you're following sure on on the other hand as well as you're going to follow it without meaning to Mm -hmm. Right. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's going right. to become such a sole point of yourself that right. instead of these are the Ten Commandments, these are what I have to follow, is going to become, oh, I've been following this because mm -hmm. I have faith. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. It's, it's going to yeah. be desired from you. No, that's not going to be the same for everyone. Of course, right. There will be certain, certain laws that you'll just wince at because you know that it's a, a, a habitual habit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for the majority of them, as you grow, it'll just be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very second nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your definition of faith? Yeah. 